and Sarah, and good evening, everybody! Man with a plan here, and we're back in the brutally beautiful, in the brutal world of Sheltered on the Xbox One. Now, at the end of the last episode, we were literally just finishing off when little Carolyn is dying for a shower, but she's dying for some sleep some more. Uh, Andrew is super, super hungry. That's not a problem, Andrew. We've got some food. Why don't you go and eat food? Be ah, because you're sleeping. Uh, okay, well, I'll tell you what, you are not that tired, so wake up and go eat some food. Okay, excellent. Carolyn, you are dying of sleep. Go sleep. Excellent. Now, uh, Julia is also dying of sleep. Nath really needs the bathroom. Toilet's right there, buddy. Oh, that's it. X moves them out of the way, and then A. Oh, we've got wash out, fix, and deconstruct. Oh, it needs to be washed out. Oh, no, that's not very nice. I think we only used it once. Holy crap -o. That little girl take the biggest dukas in the universe. Let's see here. Julia is super, super tired, but we're also needing some toileting going on there. So, use toilet. There you go, Nath. You sit in the corner and rock backwards and forwards for a while. Amazing. Carolyn's sleeping. Andrew's not doing too bad at the minute. He's going to need a toilet and a shower pretty soon. Julia is dying for some sleep. Oh, water. Water. It's raining. It's raining on the surface. Everybody drink. Absolutely everybody go and drink water if you can. Carolyn's sleeping, you go drink water. I figured this would be a good idea, it's just like an arc when it does finally rain. Free water, so everybody. Fill your boots. Except for you, because you're sleeping. Okay, sweet. So, we already discovered a little bit of a failure that we had made in the last episode, is that most of these people that we sent out, Nathan, Julia, and we found absolutely nothing because they both have an absolutely terrible perception. Like, really, really bad perception. Um, so, can we make a shower? A tier 2 shower. We can indeed make it. Let's do that. We'll put it... Oh, we can't put it between the bed and that place? Why not? There's loads of room there. What the balls? Ah, nuts. Man, already gets super tight on space super quickly. So let's cancel that. Can we rearrange shelter? Here we go. Uh, let's move the workbench up top. Sounds like a great idea. Like that. And then we can put the shower... What the balls? I said move it up there. Rearrange shelter. Move that up there. Amazing. Confirm move and cancel move. Ah, that's what I did. We've got to press Y for that. Okay, cool. And now, Julia, you can build us that shower that we wanted. And that can go down here. Excellent. I love it. There's somebody here. There's somebody here. What do you want? Who are you? What are you doing here? B Barbara. Barbara, Baba. Okay, yep, Barbara. It is indeed Barbara. Let's see how this is doing. Oxygen filters are 74%. And the water filter is at 37. That needs to be fixed pretty quickly. A stranger has approached your shelter. You can communicate with strangers by answering the intercom. You sometimes have to trade with, recruit strangers, be wary of those who you let in. I ain't letting in anybody for quite a while. Alright. Alright already! Jesus! New recruits are given... Enter the shelter automated. They can give them jobs, but... An automaton cannot be switched off until they... And they cannot be sent out on expeditions until their loyalty is high enough. Ah... If it goes, ah, if they come super stressed, they will leave. Can be deactivated in seven days, can be sent out on expedition after five days, they'll be fully loyal after seven days. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I'm looking for sanctuary. Do you grant such things? I'm able bodied and hard working. No. What the balls? Oh no, I pressed yes. Ah, oh, I'm a freaking moron. What an idiot. Oh no. Now I got some douchebag in here. She's gonna drink up all my water and eat all my food and oh man, oh I'm such an idiot. Uh, really need to be careful on what is saying yes and what is saying no. Nath, go get some sleep, you're gonna need it. Good lord. Carolyn, you're dying for a shower. Julia's just finished making a shower. Use toilet. That's not a freaking toilet. Julia, get out of the way. Carolyn, that's you. Yeah. Use toilet? What? Makeshift toilet. Oh, I'm a freaking moron. I thought that was a shower. Oh my god, fails left, right, and center here, people. This is atrocious. Um, deconstruct that crapo then. Literally that crapo. 
Uh, Andrew's dying to use a toilet, and apparently this is a toilet, not a shower, so you go and do that. The bucket toilet you constructed, you have been added the following items to your inventory. Amazing, thank you very much. Oh man, how foolish am I? What an idiot! I can't believe that I went and built that thing when it wasn't what I freaking wanted. So, straight away, we're going to need to build ourselves an actual shower. I could have swore that was a shower. It says right there, makeshift toilet. What a moron. Medium water butt, I really want those. Um, doesn't look like, in which case, that there's actually a shower here. It was a toilet that I was looking at, thinking that it was a shower. And, um, yeah, moron. So, where's the makeshift shower? Makeshift shower. Alright, excellent. Let's get this one made, then. Okay, that's going to work. We're going to be able to do that quite well. Andrew's needing a toilet. Stupid frickin' Barbara Streisand is in the frickin' toilet. Use the toilet. There we go. Everybody wants a shower. Everybody wants sleep. Getting thirsty. Uh, we know about that. We know about that indeed. Who's thirsty? Karen's thirsty. That's not a problem, Karen. Don't worry about that. You can have some water in just a minute. Okay, Judith's got a minute to spare. You can give a clean of the shelter. We've got to get another run on the go because we didn't get anything from our first expedition. So we're waiting for Nath to rest up because then he'll have the strength that we need. We need somebody else who has a decent amount of um, perception to go along with him. Although Julia's the one with the charisma, and Nath's the one with the strength, so really I should just keep sending the two until their perception gets high enough for them to actually find something, and we'll leave the other two as they are. Okay, everybody's dying for a shower, but there is a shower right there. <laughs> there really is. Okay, Carolyn, take a shower. Everybody's gonna take turns on the shower. Everybody's queued up waiting. Should have got that built a lot, lot sooner. Absolutely crazy. Oh man, I can't believe I've made so many frickin' mistakes. Um, let's see here. Where's the other little lad? Andrew, there you are. Now this thing is quite low, 29%. We need that to be fixed. So you put on a radiation suit. And you're going to go out there and repair that, and you may as well give a little repair on the oxygen filter while you're there. We can't have that stuff fail on us as well. Gotta be paying a little bit more attention to things, like I'm so peeved that I have this frickin' person in here. Can I not sleep fix deconstruct? I don't want to sleep fix or deconstruct you. I want to get you to leave. I want you to go away. Is there any way I can stress you out so you just leave? That would be nice. Okay, Andrew, with your rad suit, go out and fix that for me. It's actually just stopped working. Oh, everything stopped working. The power's out. Do you that? Do us a favor. Go and fill that up with some fuel. Get the power back on. Nath, you're dying for a shower. You have yourself a shower so that then you can go out for an expeditions. Super pumped, man. It's only day two, and I'm already noticing a buttload of stuff that we need to keep on cover. Wait, no, sorry. It's day four now. That we need to keep a buttload of stuff on, and we really, really need to be super on top of it. So, Nathan's doing pretty good. He's having himself a shower now. That's going to make him pretty much awesome. Carolyn, you're thirsty. Go grab yourself some water there, girl. That's not a problem. And actually, when you're done with that, could you build us another water butt, please? Because water, man, all the water we could ever want is super important. Try and get that as close to stuff as we possibly can, because, man, space becomes a huge issue, like, super quickly. That might take a minute for that to get fixed up. Alright, that's Nathal showered. Julia's actually a bit tired. Balls. <sighs> Nuts. Okay, you're going to need to use the toilet and then have a sleep before you're able to go outside as well, which is a pain in the butt, because Nathal's pretty much ready. I was hearing a strange sound. What was that sound? Sounded like a goat. Yeah, the, oh, it's the cat. Oh, no, nobody's fed the cat. Oh, no. Where's, where's Nath? Nath, feed the freaking cat. The state is starving. Oh, no, poor cat. I completely forgot to fill the cat's bowl in a good couple of days. At least he does stand there and make some noise so that we will, um, we won't end up missing him. Alright, Nath, Julia, there you are. You are tired. Go get some sleep for me. How did I put these guys onto automatic? I can't remember. 
I really can't remember how you put these guys on automatic. Hmm. How did we do that? Try some D-pads. No, nothing on the D-pads. Triggers. Oh, that's that speeds up time. Ah, uh, we hold it down to speed up time. Okay. Shame we can't stop time for a moment. That would be nice. That would be, like, super useful. I really can't remember about it. Let's see here. Settings. Is it in here? Game controls. I, I can't... Okay, the darker one is the one that we've selected, not the lighter. That would make... Automate selected characters. Press down the left stick. Okay, there we go. Sweet. So if I did that, he turns into a little robot and he'll take care of his own needs. Amazing. That sounds like an excellent idea. Cool. So you're doing okay. You might need to eat before you actually get to leave. Karen's doing fine. Andrew is really upset. He's needing a shower and some sleep. But except for that, it should be pretty good. we just got to wait for Julia to get a sleepage up, and then we'll be able to go for ourselves for another expedition. Alright, sweet. Julia's up and about. It's raining on the surface, so I'm telling everyone. Look at the moose! Look at the moose! <laughs> that is now... Oh, pardon me. Fully repaired and doing pretty well. And old Andrew is back. He's going to take himself a shower. Um, actually, Andrew, you should probably take off your radiation suit and then take a shower. Sounds to be a, a good idea. We don't want you to shower in the radiation suit. Oh, great. You've gone and taken up the whole freaking bed and Andrew needs to sleep and I can't stop you from doing it, can I? Oh, I got dismiss up on D-pad. Are you sure you want to dismiss this recruit? Yes, get out of here. Yes, go away. I didn't even notice that before. Oh, man, that makes everything so much better. Incredible. Get out of here, you. Wait, what are you doing? What are you raiding a medicine cabinet for? Oh, you bitch. Oh, I can't believe it. I am such an idiot for bringing in somebody when I didn't actually want them in here. What a moron. Oh, man. Right. Day five, and that is going to be the last mistake that I have made. You go and take yourself a shower. Admittedly, this is the first place, so there's going to be little mistakes and things are going to go terribly wrong. I'm absolutely sure of it. Now, we want to make sure these guys are fully primed and in their best situation to be able to go out into the wastelands. So, Naeth, you can have a little bit of food. She's going to take a little shewer. Uh, Carolyn, you could do with some more sleep, so go get some kip. And Andrew is also needing sleep super bad. If you sleep a bit while he takes a shower, that should work out just fine. Water storage at max capacity. That's what I like to see. Anybody thirsty? No. Good. Good. At least we've got that under control. How's our food doing? 7 out of 20. We really need more grub pretty quickly. But we, I have some... I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not doing too bad. I'm happy that it hasn't absolutely gone completely terrible within, like, the first instant day. But I've made it to, like, day 5 or so without dying. That's not doing super bad. I'm hoping that we can find a bit more on our expedition. Sweet. Like, everybody's taking showers. Everybody's taking showers while the water is at max capacity and it's still raining. Oh, hello. We have another person. Martha. I'm not letting you in. I will not make that mistake again. It's a little bit tricky to see what is each selection. So, I think these guys are going to be okay on their hunger for going out. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, they're pretty much ready for their expedition now. We'll... Oh no, that person just walked straight past. Okay, totally fine. Alright, sweet. So, Julia's done with a shower. Let's get our expedition on the go. I'm really hoping that you're going to be able to study. Perception is 5 now. Perception is 3. Ugh. It's really bad. Perception 4, perception 2. Everybody has a terrible perception. So, we're going to stick with the people that we had. And hopefully get ourselves a better one pretty soon. Let's check out that farmhouse in the hopes of finding some water and such and how about that one? We got loads of water so we don't have to worry about that. Sweet, yeah, we'll do a little two round one this time. I'm hoping to god they find something. So let's see here. We need to equip one of those for Julia and a weapon for you as well. Super good. I don't know if that gets consumed. I know the mask gets consumed but I'm not sure if that gets consumed when they come back unless they had to fight with it. I'm not sure. Um, if I just go confirm, yep, and then Nathan's turn, excellent, so you're going to want one of these, and one of these, and we have a butt ton of water in the shelter, so we're just going to move, I don't know, take about 15 of them with us, that should be plenty, alright, 
Yep, happy with that. That's no, that's yes. Excellent. Okay, they're off and on their way. Andrew is sleeping. Carolyn, can you please fix that shower for me? It's actually quite nice sending people on expeditions because you get a little bit more control over what's happening and not having like four people's needs to care for all at the same time. So it does make a little bit more handleable while they're out doing something. Haven't made the best stats for these people, I don't think, though. Not at all. What I'm also interested in is what everybody else's stats and such are. Small eater unhygienic. There it is. Because I knew that we picked a positive trait, but I had a feeling that we actually were given a negative trait. Uh, here we are, radio transmission already. What you got for me? No, Julius, we found a small farm out in the way, so should we check it out? Please search it and please frickin' find something. Playing with a bunch of blind people can't find anything out in the wasteland. This is crazy. Like morning of day six is just about to come, and we haven't actually found. It looks like Small Farm has some stuff that might be useful. What do you think? Examine items. Oh my lord! Finally, please tell me you found something incredible. Okay, move stuff from the wasteland on the right to the old package on the left. What is this? Coal can be used. Great fuel substitute when incinerated. Leather, that sounds like it will be needed. Petro can, we'll take that. What is that? A scrap pile. Limestone we need for making cements and such. Some wool. We, we may as well just take everything because we've got the inventory space for it. And uh, yeah, that'll do. If we find something else, then that sounds good. So again, that's confirmed. That's revert. Yes. Oh, well, we found something. Nothing amazingly useful so far, but hopefully they'll find something else. And if not, well, we'll just send them out again, try something else. <laughs> oh, we got something else. Found a school out in the wasteland, check it out. Yes. So it looks like they haven't encountered anybody on their journey so far. These stats are terrible. She's taking so long to fix that shower, it's unbelievable. So, Andrew, how are you doing? You're not doing too bad at all, my friend. Not doing too bad at all. How is the condition of the bed? 64. You can give that a fix, because we can't have that failing us too. So pretty much these guys are just going to repair stuff while the guys are away. Oh, here we go. What you got? Found somebody in the school. Should we stop and talk to them? Yes. I have more chance of actually succeeding at trade than I would. Oh, you don't look very well. Hey there, friendly. I would like Julia to speak, please. Yes. Confirm Julia trade. We could probably help each other out while we're here. It's there if you want it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah, trade timing. Amazing. This stuff's pretty straightforward. What we got here? Anti-rad tablets. Oh, yeah. And some sand. Both of those, please. I need 82. How much do you value water at? Two. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make 82. Oh, petrol. Uh-uh. No good. How about some coal? Because I don't know what it's used for. And this. And that. Motor. Hmm. I know that those are very important for when you actually get um, to the stage where you've ran out of your masks. Um, so that could be something that I really need to worry about. That's 80 on its own though. I don't even think, even if I traded like everything I have... I don't think I've got anything that is um, a value of 80. Value 3, value 2, 2, 1, 3, 1. Uh, yeah, I actually don't have enough stuff to be able to hire that. So I'm just going to take it all back and I'll cancel it. I'll take your limestone though instead, but I definitely can't afford that. That's a bit of a shame. Limestone for water. Any trade is a trade, so we can't go wrong with that. Trade. Would have loved those anti-rad tablets. To keep them off my tail? Oh no. This charisma is one. I don't think you'll be doing any trading anytime soon, buddy. <laughs> well, straight away, there's something else going on here. We found something at the school. Yes. Good lord, yes. What is this? A toy? A rubber? 
and creating watertight objects. The nail gun. Use fire increases repairing and crafting speed. Yes, we need that superly. Rope. Wait, that's nylon. I thought we needed rope. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to take it anyway. Um, let's see here. A piece of wood. I have a feeling that we will need that. I don't know what most of this stuff is going to be used. Used in system upgrades and crafting. Used in crafting. Uh, I don't think I need any wool. I'm sure I needed either rope or nylon, whichever one of those that was. A toy I would like, but I have nowhere to store it. Another chill increases repairing crafting speed. I don't know if that stacks. Could be recycled into useful material. Well, I can't use that. I'll take that in case it does stack and increase our crafting and repair time even faster, which would be amazing. Um, <laughs> great fuel substitute when incinerated, so we could use that as fuel. Um, use when constructing bags and armor, also needed. Upgrades and crafting. Okay, yeah, I think that I'll be happy with those things too, although I'm not entirely certain. Sadly, I didn't find any rope. Let's have a quick look at what this actually needs. Ah, it is rope, and it looks like a noose instead of a little loop of nylon like that, and hinges. Hmm, okay. You're about to fall asleep, it's taking you that long to fix that thing. Holy balls, right, okay, stop what you're doing. Um, you go to sleep. Andrew, stop what you're doing. Yeah, I said stop what you're doing, please. And go to sleep. Uh, Andrew, you can resume repairing this thing. Shit, and toilet's not doing badly. Doesn't look like that actually gets broken, the water butt, which is nice. That does get a little bit damaged. That's pretty much freaking empty. So peeved at that. Alright, yeah. I'm assuming that the guys are just going to be on their way back now. Yeah, cool. Well, yep, there they are. They are both super hungry, but they have returned safe and sound. We ran out of fuel again? What the balls? Oh, super lame. Well, as soon as they're in, I'll get them to fill up the fuel and get this stuff running again. That was, um... A little bit hairy, I'm not going to lie, but at least we actually did make a successful run. Hopefully these two will have a bit more perception now, and we'll be able to make something a little bit more worthwhile for us next time as well. Come on now. Oh my god. <laughs> it takes a long time for that to level up, I think. Balls. Sweet, we are just going to move all of this stuff back over. Is there a move all? Move stack, move stack, move stack, move stack, move stack, 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 stack. Excellent. Sweet. Yeah, that'll do it. Well, that's about the time that we've got for today, everybody. Thank you ever so much for coming to join us, as always. Always a great fun having you. Always a purely great, pleasurable experience. I am enjoying it all. This is an amazing game. I am absolutely loving it. There's a lot more, um, a lot more handling and lots of stuff going on all at the same time than I actually thought it was. So we're going to have to really try and keep on top of this to try and stay alive. I don't think we'll survive past day 12. Like twice as far as we've got now, if we were lucky. Yeah, I imagine that'll be. So, <laughs> hopefully, we'll be going all right though, and we'll be able to pull ourselves out of it pretty soon. If you are enjoying everybody, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button. And if you are really looking forward to seeing more of Shelter, hit that subscribe button as well. Drop me a comment down below if you've got any tips and tricks that will come in useful for us. Except for that, I'll try and muster through and see what we can do. Maybe you guys will learn something just from me doing it wrong. Who knows? <laughs> All the best, everybody. Take care. I uh, can't wait to see you all again soon. You think the cat's hungry? Go feed the freaking cat then.